Welcome to the Number Minds YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at PowerPoint and how you can add a bit more pizzazz to your graphs in presentations. Reason being is that graphs tend to be a bit dull and what we want to do is draw people's attention by using animation. So first things first, let's add a new slide. We're going to go for a title and content slide. And you've got a number of options here, table, picture, media, smart art, clip art, and in our case, a chart. Select that and it will bring up what type of chart you want to select. Now we're just going to go for the default. You can change it later, so let's just get on with it. Click OK, and it would automatically open up Excel and give you some sample data. So if we just close this animation pane down, you can actually see the graph. Now these, the graph and the data here, despite being in two applications, are linked. So if we were to change this into some more meaningful information, it, we can see that it automatically updates here. So the legend is January, February, March, and we'll do sales regions, so north, south, east, and west. For the time being, we've actually finished with Excel, so we can maximize PowerPoint and concentrate on that. So if we add a title, Sales by Region, and then reselect the graph, and you'll see here that there's a Charts Tools option here. We'll come back to that in a second. So the animation element on the ribbon, you select that, and then you can hover over these and see which particular animation you like. You can do Fades, Appears, so let's do a Float In. And that's just floating in the entire graph. And you can see that there by just saying there's one animation. Select it again, and you've got these effect options. So you can change it to a float down. We're happy with a float up for now. You can do it as one object, by series, by category, by element in series, and by element in category. Now the last two, by element in series and by element in category, mean that the, the graph will take longer to load. You can speed up the animation if you wanted to, and I'll show you how to do that now. So if we select that one, by element in category, you can just wait for it to load, and you can see how long it actually takes. So if we look at the animation pane, and it'll say here, content place, and if you drop down there, you can see all the individual items that are selected. Right click on it and go to timing. And you go, right, it's on fast, so let's go to very fast. Click OK, and it's much, much faster. Now, I mentioned before that if you weren't happy with having a clustered column chart, you could actually change it again. So if we remove the animation pane, select the graph again, you can see the chart tools options appear in the ribbon. Select design, and through this, you can actually change the color should you wish. But well, what we're going to do is change the ch chart type. So we can actually go to, say, a line graph. Click OK, and then it will appear. And you click on the animations, and you'd have to do by series. Because each chart type comes with different animations. So just make sure before you actually do the presentation, you actually run through it with some friends and see how they actually react to it, and whether it's too slow, too fast, or the information isn't presented in the right way. This is Number Minds, and thank you very much for watching, and look forward to hearing from you soon at numberminds.com. Thank you very much.